What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Ben Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing day, folks. It's the weekend. Ah, doesn't it feel good just to say that? I'm excited. It's the weekend. I'm happy it's the weekend. I do, unfortunately, have to go to a one-year-old's birthday party at 11 o'clock, which is about 40 minutes away from my house. Not looking forward to that. It's going to be like 90 degrees out. But you know what? It's one of my best friends. Got to show face for a little bit. And it's right next to the casino. So after that, we're going to hit to the casino for a couple of hours. So we're going to make a day of it. Why not? Right? You're going to, We're going to be out there. Why not just take the extra 10-minute trip to the casino? Well, makes sense to me. In this video, folks, a lot to go over. A lot going on. Crypto markets are looking great. Can we just a moment of silence, please, for the bears and for all the shorters out there? May they all rest in peace. In this video, we're going to talk about the markets. We're going to talk about Bitcoin, Swift, down. What was going on with all these ATMs, banks, Bank of England, down. We're going to look at an XRP Ledger or XRP Ledger Foundation, uh, a video from Apex talking about the future use and what's really going to help drive utility to the XRP token. Then we're going to look at the XRP chart to top this video off. And the time we're done here, you're going to be walking away with a smile on your face. Mark my words. Let's jump into this thing. Bitcoin, $66,568. It's currently up 3.75% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum coming in at 3,490. It's currently up 2.43%. USDT and USDC both coming in at the dollar pegs as XRP keeps on pushing, keeps on chugging. It is coming in at 59 cents. It's currently up 7% in the last 24 hours. We got a nice push up yesterday within the cryptocurrency markets. We got a nice push up, especially on XRP. As you look at the past 24 hours charts, XRP is leading the way. This is what you want to say. Look, right now, we need to get above 66 cents. It's that simple. 63 cents was the stall out zone we just saw a couple of days ago. Let's at least get above 63 so we can form a higher high. And then we can look at tackling 66. As far as I'm concerned with XRP, there are two areas left of resistance that we need to break to get the fun to get the show started right 66 and 75 that's it if both of those get broken it is go time is that going to happen right now right at this moment i don't think so right we need to see bitcoin really take off and get up into that 80 dollars zone which is coming i would say we would see that within august august the latest for bitcoin to make that move up there xrp will break 66 is it time for it to break 75 eh, i'm thinking more like september time frame to, to challenge that 75 cent zone but everything we've spoken about on this channel is lining up for 2025 to be a magical year the key number 75 cents i think we get that broken and i think we stay above it i'm thinking september october is the latest we're actually going to see that thing get, get busted up i do think that we're going to get above a dollar by end of year on xrp which is just going to make 2025 even more magical folks total cryptocurrency market cap two trillion four hundred and forty five billion now i put this out do not do this I, i've seen this back in 2017 people were taking out house loans they were refinancing they were taking out crazy credit cards. He says, I just took out a $100,000 personal loan. Well, first of all, I don't know where you're getting a $100,000 personal loan. 12 months, no APY. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, they know he's not going to pay back within 12 months. Well, he actually might because of crypto. He's putting it all into Solana. I don't hate the fact that he's putting it into Solana. I really don't. But don't be taking out loans because no one knows where this market is going to go or it's going to end up. One downfall, one wrong turn in crypto, my man's going to be owing a lot of interest on this 100K. Now, Solana, 168. I told you this thing was going to explode. I've been yelling and preaching at the top of my lungs. I've been telling the Patreon since 120 bucks, get Solana, get Solana, get Solana, because this thing was going to end up 1,500 to 2,000 the time the cycle is done. You still got time, right? You still got time to get your Solana. A lot of people hate it. A lot of people are crapping on it. Now, to say, 
Is it only up from here? No, nothing is only up from here. This thing could still come back down and crash back to reality. It's all really going to depend on what Bitcoin is about to do. Bitcoin top 67,000 as crypto rally aimed global IT outage. Solana Soul leads all coins. It's not really true. Solana didn't really lead the alt. Well, I guess it did. It's up 11.28. XRP is only up 10.95. I think it said Solana and XRP both rose. It says Bitcoin hit a one, one month high price surging over 5.5% over the past 24 hours. Solana rose 8%, topping around 170 bucks for the first time since its early June rally. Crypto observers highlight the resiliency of decentralized blockchains as mal malfunctioning soft software update caused worldwide disruptions in IT systems. Let me tell you, my Friday was an absolute nightmare because of this outage. It was absolutely insane. So Solana's up over 11%, coming in at about 169. Ethereum's back to about 3,500. Here you go, here you can see the leaders. But what's interesting here, where's XRP, folks? I don't see XRP in there. XRP was a leader. It should be right on the soul. Interesting, right, how they just leave it out. All of a sudden, let's decide to leave XRP out the list. Makes sense, right? Smoke put this out. He says, it is possible that Swift can acquire tech startups like Ripple to improve its services. Looks like their services need to be improved soon. What is he speaking about here? It says, Swift, being in the industry for so long has a large network of members and strong cash flow. It is possible that Swift can acquire new tech startups like Ripple to improve its service. That's interesting now, isn't it? Now, and this all comes with, you know, Swift temporarily being offline. Bank of England, they were offline. We see a lot of ATMs offline. We saw this Microsoft, the CrowdStrike, took a lot of IT systems offline who were ever using CrowdStrike for their antivirus. It all just happens at once. It, it, it's crazy how things work out, right? It's almost like it was coordinated. Get into the conspiracies, you know, dig away. I mean, please do it. I love reading it. I love looking into it. It is kind of odd. It all happened at one time. There you go. Swift directly from the website. Temporarily off-site, off, uh, offline, excuse me, for maintenance reasons. Now, Swift, what is Swift? Swift is just a consortium of banks. Could the consortium of banks acquire Ripple? They could. But why would you acquire Ripple? Why wouldn't you just pay Ripple to use their software services, right? Because Ripple offers a ton of different options for central banks, for banks, for remittance companies. Uh, they use crypto. Some of the services don't use crypto. They have a liquidity hub. So why would you acquire? You wouldn't need to acquire it, right? All you would really need to do, you know, go over to little old Ripple, ring the doorbell, sit down with Brad, Chris, maybe throw Joel in the room, whoever else is working behind the scenes, a little off or Brito, and be like, hey guys, listen, we want to be able to use your on-demand liquidity services, or we want to be able to use your stable coin. That's all they got to do here. It's that simple. Time will tell what happens here. But we do know Swift has to update. They're forced to update, and all the banks are going to be able to use or tap into uh, DLT technology. And then there you go. Why is the XRP price pumping? I mean, Bloomberg. Out of all people, Bloomberg is funding us. And they're like, oh, because of speculation that settlement's coming for the Ripple and SEC lawsuit. That's not why it's pumping. Hey, listen, news doesn't move the markets. And you want proof of news not moving the markets? Bitcoin's up 3% in the past 24 hours. Trump just came out and he said that the U.S. is going to be the leader in crypto. He said you're going to be able to sell storage. He's all about Bitcoin. And, and you know, he said everything you wanted to hear about cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, you know, the U.S. dollar, getting, getting these people out of out of the Senate, like Elizabeth Warren, who has to go. He said everything he wanted to hear, and there you go. I mean, we're up 3%. This news should have rattled. It should have freaking sent the crypto markets absolutely flying with what he said. But it didn't. So don't tell me there's rumors that settlement's going on. Listen, we would have got the settlement already. The price went up. The price came back down. The price is coming back up. The price is moving here. Because A, Bitcoin's moving. B, 
XRP is so undervalued, so undervalued, and everyone knows it. I mean, it hasn't made an all-time high since 2017. Give me a break. The use case behind XRP, the utility that's about to kick into XRP, especially when you have the stablecoin that's coming out. Remember, the stablecoin runs on the XRP ledger. If it runs on the XRP ledger, what does it do? It uses XRP as that gas token, so XRP will be used. You got all the central banks that Ripple just keeps coming out and naming that, they, that they're doing pilots with and moving forward into pilots and naming new central banks. All of this is coming together. When you fill up a sink so much with water and you got the stopper down, I don't care how big your sink is, how deep the sink is, sooner than later, that sink is going to overflow. Sooner or later, the price of XRP is going to go absolutely parabolic, especially if Trump gets elected president in November and he's pro crypto and we get Gensler out, we get Warren out and we start getting the right people to sit in these seats to give us crypto policy in the U.S. to allow the full potential of institutional money and to allow the full potential of money to rotate from traditional retirement plans and from the traditional stock markets into crypto because it is now a safe place to invest money because we have the correct policies and we have the correct markets in place. These markets are going to absolutely boom, folks. Absolutely boom. So the prices you're looking at today, this time next year, you are not going to recognize this. I'm going to leave it like that. Listen, wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.